Do you have that one task in the office that drives you nuts? Well, for me, it's printing, and it doesn't matter what application I'm in. For some reason, printing and I don't get along. In this lesson, we're going to explore some common troubleshooting techniques for when your printer is not working, and then review some formatting tricks for printing your Excel worksheets correctly. The first thing you should do is double check your printer to make sure that it's turned on, that there's paper in it, that there's ink in it, that all the cables are secure. If you're using a wireless printer, ensure that it's connected to the network. I have an older printer and it drops the network connection quite often and this causes me almost daily frustration. Be sure that the printer is not paused and that the drivers are up to date for the printer as well as Windows and Office. Now, let's pop into Excel to review a couple tricks to help you format your worksheet to print correctly. Here we have a simple worksheet. It's just a table, nothing fancy. The first thing I want to do before I print it is take a look at how it's going to print. To do so, pop into File and Print. And here we have a preview of how this worksheet will print. And there's a couple of things that we can see right off the top. First of all, we're missing some of the month names. They're cut off, they're truncated. And this will span four sheets of paper, making those last two sheets a little bit hard to piece together. We can actually make some quick adjustments. First thing we can do is adjust the scaling. The one I like is to fit the sheet on one page. We can see all the data is now on one page, but it's a little bit hard to read. You could adjust the orientation to see if that will help. And if you wanted to, instead of adjusting the scaling to fit on one page, you could fit all the columns to one page or all the rows. That definitely makes it a little bit easier. And it breaks it down nicely but you'll notice that we still have some of our months cut off. Let's pop back into the Excel worksheet and see if we can correct this. Well, we can definitely see that our months are cut off. The easiest way to fix this is to double click on the column line. That will automatically adjust the column to the widest width. We can also see year is pretty large. Let's do the same trick and what that will do is adjust the column width to meet the year column. It's a great little trick. I love it. One of the other things you can do to help you with formatting before printing is to select on view and then view the page breaks. We can easily see that we're going to be on two pages, but there's been some changes because of the settings that we have. Our year is truncated, and we can see that some of our columns are also reduced. Let's pop back into print and see if we can correct those from here. And it looks like we are going to be fine when we go to print this. We can see our year is clearly defined. We can see the full name of the month and all of the data. Since the print preview gives us a true representation of what will be printed, I'm going to go with this. At this point, we could go ahead and print. For more tips, tricks, and troubleshooting techniques, please refer to the Excel Help Center.